We're just gonna rip it sideways. Why not? I mean, it, it drifts pretty well. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsports 7. We are staring at those uh, used tires right there and our S15 just chilling in our garage. Now, today is a good day because uh, Forza and Turn 10 decided to graciously give all VIP members... Uh, thank you for being a Forza Motorsports 7 VIP to show our appreciation. We've gifted you five Forza Edition cars. Please enjoy. As well as more information. So we're going over to the gifts. As we can see, gift credits. Turn 10 team has gifted you 1 million credits for your VIP bonus. So we're going to go ahead and take that. So which means that's nice to know. Gran Turismo S Forza Edition. Definitely going to take a look at that as well. So I figured why not drive these cars that Forza has given us. We got the F-Type Project 7 Forza Edition as well. And uh, the one that I'm very curious about is this one right here. The Camaro ZL1 Forza Edition. So we're definitely going to pick that up. Give all these cars a shot. Forza has given us some free cars. So it is nice that they are giving us cars. So I think they also gave us the GTR and the M4. So now we're going to go look at our cars. We are now tier level 4. We did bump ourselves up to tier level 4. So what does that change our rewards to now that we are 4? We have a Japan uniform, Ford UTE, and 50 credit. So let's go to our cars. Take a look at what Forza has given us. It's not Volkswagen, obviously. It's not a Subaru. Although we do have a Forza Edition Subaru. Ram, Polaris, Fast and Furious Edition, Nissan. Mercury don't have many cars yet, but now that we have money. Oh, so this wasn't in Oh, there it is the Grand Chisholm support the Maserati nice wad body plus Wow 12,500 credits at Mugello Or Mugello, however, however you want to say it that thing is nice wide body We have our Lotus Lancia's and then we have the F-type Project 7 for the edition Plus 75,000 XP at Top Gear Track. So we're definitely going to rip that around as well. And then, of course, we have the normal cars. And then we have this one, which I am extremely excited to drive. We have the wide-bodied ZL1 Forza Edition. Plus 15,000 credits at Road Atlanta. So I figure we will drive these. Maybe do a drift build on this Camaro. But we need to select one first. So, let us start with that Maserati, because that thing is uh, definitely very nice looking. So, we're going to get in there. So, I want to know what you guys want to see on the channel. Do you guys want to see Let's Plays with us racing? Do you guys want to see more drifting? Because I feel like I've been doing a lot of drifting recently. So, do you guys want to see racing? Do you guys want to see Let's Play here on Forza Motorsports 7? So, Magello. So, we're going to actually go to Magello, because why not use the bonuses that we have we'll throw some other cars in the track and we'll uh we'll do a bit of a race circuit race three laps sure we'll leave it fully up there let us find jello circuit do we have we have the Mandela sort we'll race the short track circuit drive there we go all right, let's go right into it. We're just going to race these things how it are. How it are. <laughs> race these things how they are. I can't speak today. Probably had a little bit too much to drink. But, you know, what fun is it if you can't, you know, have a little fun while you're doing this. So, not sure why Forza decided to give us all this stuff, but I'm not going to complain. A million credits is definitely a good thing. And uh, some more Forza Edition cars is uh, definitely a very good thing. Especially that Camaro. I've been looking to try to get that wide body Camaro. And I was going to buy some car packs. Or car packs. Some of the uh, you know, crates and stuff to try to get it. Because I'm also looking for the wide body GT350R. Which I have to get as well. So. 
So we're just going to start the race right off the bat. We're not going to do any tuning. This is just off the basically showroom floor or from turn 10. Oh, sounds good. This is going to be interesting. Here we go. Wide body Maserati. The wing is already flexing. And we're just ripping past these guys. All oh, the backfire sounds amazing. It's, ooh, get a little squirrely. Excuse me. Sorry. Ooh. Okay. So much for trying to race clean. So we're going to continue. Oh, sorry. See what the inside of this thing looks like. That steering wheel looks amazing. Still hears the backfires from the inside. Oh, that Mercedes brake checked way harder than I thought he was going to. Here we go. That, uh... I like the shift lights in the center of the cluster. Oh, too much on the brakes. A little bit too hard if guy don't have ABS on. But this car does sound amazing. It handles pretty good. Kind of excited that we got it. I probably would have never have bought this otherwise. So it was cool that Forza did give us this car for free. Oh, and shifter issues. Stay on the clutch. We're just gonna rip it sideways. Why not? I mean, it, it drifts pretty well. But we're not trying to drift, we're trying to actually race, but now that the tires are completely loose, it doesn't want me to get traction. So, there we go. I need to get, there we go. We tires need to cool down a little bit so we can actually get a little bit of traction here. I am having slight shifter issues recently need to take the shifter apart and find out exactly what's going on inside. This thing is pretty tail happy under braking. Oh, we just touched the dirt. We're good though. Okay, this car just wants to get sideways. Maserati drift build, maybe? So I think the shifter issues I'm having is there's dust inside because I don't have a boot on my shifter. I think I got some dust or stuff going on on the inside and it's causing an issue with uh, the contact points. I broke a little too late. It's okay, we'll just hang out the back end there. I mean, why not? I'm used to just drifting everywhere. I'm not really, you know, was not, I am big into racing, but recently I've been doing only drifting, not much racing. But I do want to get back into racing more. I just got to keep remembering I do not have any assistance on. It's full assist off and I believe they are on one under unbeatable. So it's not surprising that they are ahead of me. Excuse me. And I have line aggression and everything on too, so I'm pretty much up there in the difficulty scale. But we are going to finish this race here. We're going to get the bonus for this car being a Forza edition. So first car from free from Forza, definitely a fun car. Probably going to probably tune the suspension a little bit, get that to grip a little better because it is uh, pretty tail happy. So uh, we are going to go to next race and I will change the setting once we change the car. But we're going to see what we won from this. Now I'm wondering if, since they are Forza, if we can take the wings off. I think we can, even though it's Forza Edition like Horizons, or we can take the body kits it off and put the Y body back on. Maybe we can try and get some standard tires on there. Women are amazing drivers too. Yeah, look at that. Extra bonus of Magello. And we got our 1 million credits from Forza. Thank you. Appreciate that. I will use those 1 million credits. Sparingly, probably not. I'll probably just build drift cars. So let's change our car first so that I know what track we're going to go to. So we did get that for free. 
And then we did get the F type. So we got to go to top gear in this F type. So we are going to go into the F type. We're going to go to top gear track. There it is. Top gear. What variations do we have? Oh, we got a lot of variations. Now ah, we'll just do the full test track. Uh, three laps. Yep, reset it. All right, now we're good to go. We gotta wait for it to load and we'll go. So now this is the second car that they gave us. We get an extra 7,500 XP at Top Gear Track in this F-Type. I did enjoy the F-Type in Horizon 3. It did sound amazing. So let's see if the F-Type sounds like it did in there or if it sounds better. All the cars in 7 have sounded a lot better than the previous games for sure. Especially the GTR. If you did get early access, you did get the ultimate edition you got the gtr race car the horizon or horizon edition the forza edition r35 and that thing just sounds mean as hell all right so we're here at test track in the f type let's uh see how this thing does no modification of these cars at all these are just stock forza editions oh i was like that is not the f type that sounds like that Oof! Did not want to get traction at all. Trying not to hit these guys. I can hear the crackles oh, creeping through this exhaust on this F-Type. And once again, this thing just wants to get sideways on throttle lift. Good thing we can control drifting. A little bit too much on the brakes. Sorry. Excuse me. Jesus. All right, this car's also crazy. And shifter issues cursed. Don't hit that Aston Martin. Or the tire wall. It's gotta be a little bit easier on the throttle with these cars. Go. Excuse me. I don't know if we're gonna hold that. Ooh, okay, we held that. I don't know if we're gonna hold that though. Tires. Okay, we're just gonna stay in that. That was a little bit too much fun, and we're gonna probably just end up drifting it. Why not? E brake. Uh, I knew I was gonna lose a spot with that, but that was pretty cool though. That was. Definitely unexpected, uh, unexpected slides in this F-Type, but it slid pretty well. I'm actually very surprised on how well that slid. And this thing gets really loose on braking. Pull the brake a little bit, just to try not to hit that guy. This line aggression stuff, though, they really do not like you passing and I am on I did believe it is one under unbeatable so and then shifter curse all right we're gonna cheat we're gonna cut those corners I know that's I know that's greasy I know that's greasy for sure we go make sure the shifter doesn't freak out on top of the brakes. Is that a? That's like a formula car. Why is that racing with us? Okay, formula car. Excuse me. Just slide past you, slide near DMs right there. A little bit easier on the brakes. Try not to get this thing completely sideways like I did before. Short shift that. So this car does not like second gear for sure. Second gear is definitely very loose. I'm just gonna skip fourth gear. Apparently my shifter does not want to go into fourth. See, he just went into second. Definitely gonna have to take my shifter apart and find out what is going on inside there. Excuse me, can I get in there? Yep, excuse me, thank you. Try not, as hard as I can not to hit these guys, but sometimes the drive tarts need to get a little bump. Just like that. 
try to stay in the white lines this time, not cut the track. That's a cool little car. I want one of those. So this F-Type definitely sounds a lot better than Horizon 3. And the handling on it's just as loose as on Horizon. Of course, the F-Type I had on Horizon was built all-wheel drive. Oh, and it was built for the Goliath. I want a podium. Excuse me, I want a podium. Oh, I know that's dirty. That's really dirty, but I've wanted at least a podium finish. That was a dirty last turn, but we'll take third. My wrist is vibrating constantly from all these messages on my phone that is in the other room. So, F-Type, another free car from Forza. Okay, I'll take it. It's definitely a nice car. Now the car that I've been most anticipated to try and drive, the ZL1 wide body Forza Edition. I gotta stop saying Horizon Edition. This isn't Horizon 3, this is more Sports 7. Hey, I'm on the podium. That's all that matters. And you got, you know, other guys up there, but, you know, I, I'm no worries. So we get our extra XP going in there. Right there. It's gonna put us up. Now we get to choose, do we want 50,000 credits? Do we want a free for or the Japan uniform? Mm, credits are always good, but we got enough credits right now. Cars are always good for car level, but that Japan uniform, I'll take it. You'll be able to wear it whenever you choose. Just because I like driving Japanese cars. So now we're gonna continue on and see where we're going. Whew. ZL1, currently 597 horsepower, track width 305, sport tires, sounds sport tires? What? I thought they, oh, so these don't come with race tires. Okay, so that's good news. So we gotta go to Road Atlanta, and we get an extra 15,000 credits. So once it loads in URS, we will switch to Road Atlanta. And we'll go from there. Race selection. We're gonna try to use one hand. Road Atlanta. I believe it was Road Atlanta or was it Road America? We're gonna have to double check real quick before we start. Three laps, Road Atlanta in the Forza Edition ZL1. This thing looks nasty with those wide body flares. Yep. I do like my Camaro in the other Forzas, so. My go-to drift car in Horizon 3 is a Camaro, and uh, in Forza 6, it was the Z28. So now, ZL1 might be better. I'm curious to see what tire compounds we can do on these Forza editions, though, and if I can remove that hideous wing. I don't know, if you like the wing, let me know in the comments. If you don't like the wing and you're with me, let me know too. Because uh, I'm not a fan of the giant wing on this car, although it is a track car. So I guess it makes sense. That thing looks mean. I like the uh, wheels too. So let's do this. Three laps. Road Atlanta will probably end up getting sideways. ZL1. Oh, I can hear the popping. If that, is that from me or is that from the rally car? Starting second gear. There we go. Oh my god. This thing just goes. This thing is hauling. Let's try not to get involved in a wreck. Oh jeez. And pile up. This thing has such a wide track stance. I do like the fact that I locked up my brakes because no ABS. Uh, I do like how they added, I said it before on the Maserati, the wing flex, the wing vibrating over certain speeds, because, you know, the giant wings, you would get that. They've done an incredible job on this game with details and such. The interior of this car looks the same. Oh. Yeah, looks like a stock car. There we go. I broke way too late. 
Excuse me. Back on track. We didn't lose too much ground, so we're good. We will probably be able to catch up, I hope. This car seems like it's got plenty of power and plenty of grip when the car wants to go into the right gear and we stay on the track. Oh yeah, definitely got the power. Definitely got the grip. Excuse me, I'm gonna come right... Oh, that car got really light. And that's not good. Well, we were gonna gain some serious ground on that. But that car got extremely light over that hump. And as soon as it touched grass, it was over. So now we got some major catching up to do. The feedback is so strong on this car, though. This car has a lot of snappy feedback. Which is surprising because it's only on sport tires. And he braked a lot sooner than I thought he was going to. Trying not to be like every online lobby and just be a smasher, a rammer, but you know, sometimes they break a lot, the driving tires break a lot sooner than I think they're going to, which they should be able to take these turns a lot faster than driving tires. Getting the hang of this car now. We got two laps, well, one and a half laps to go. We should be able to get up there, I believe. Let's not overshoot this turn again. Here we go. Oh, come on. Oh, man. So, this car has grip sometimes. Now, other times it just doesn't want to have front grip. It could be because of my braking. Not going to deny that. All right, see if we can knock it squirrely over this section again. Here we go. There we go. I want to just rip the e-brake coming into that turn, just like Formula Drift. I haven't drifted the, basically the FD sections here in Forza 7 yet. We're here, and then you got Long Beach. Definitely going to try and do those at some point in time. So I think we'll probably be able to catch this pack. I don't know if we're going to get all the way up front. Not if we keep doing that, we're not. This car sounds amazing. A little bit too hard on the brakes. A little cart again. Get out of the way. You sound like an angry bumblebee. I'm the only bumblebee here. Excuse me. Thank you. Sorry. That was really... That was, that was rude. I feel so bad and I feel dirty. But they're not actual players, they're drive tires, so I don't feel as bad. Now if that was an actual player online, I would feel to like complete shit. Thought I could rev that out and stay. There we go. That's a nice clean pass. That's a nice Lambo. There we go. Is that your daddy's Lambo? Oh man. I haven't wasted much fun with this game. I can see third. Gonna try and take third. I think I broke way too late. Forza brakes help. Oh man, Forza Edition brakes, thank you. So at least we'll take podium in this race. As long as we don't screw up this last turn. Take podium in this race. Oh no! No! Or not! Oh! oh that's a pretty awesome picture of that car sideways. Ooh, I think we took third. I got scared thinking we weren't going to take the podium because I screwed up the last turn like I didn't want to do. Ooh, okay. And Deadpool beat me, so that's good. He probably would have killed me otherwise. Wow. Um, these cars are definitely insane. So, we're going to go to the next race to make sure we get our credits. Wow. So, Forza has graciously given us a lot of free things. A million credits. Some Forza edition cars, which increased our garage level. 
I'll take that podium spot. Thank you. I think before I end off today, I think I'm going to open up a box or two. We'll take our extra credits. We'll get some XP. I'm thinking maybe a lucky crate, a lucky box, which a lucky car box, which uh, I think is 300,000. Force has given us a million dollars. So we'll spend a little bit of it just to see if we can get anything super awesome. I want to, I want to quit. Is it going to not let me quit? Because it's loading. So what was I doing? Oh yes, we were going to open up some crates. So I think we're going to do one lucky car crate. We can get a chance to get a legendary car, driver's gear, mods, and badges guaranteed. So we're going to do it. We're going to buy one of those. Let's see what we got. If we get anything good, please be something good. Is it worth 300 grand? Oh, we got some legendary stuff in here. Night race. Greaser. I mean, that'll increase our score. A 1954 Mercedes Benz. I don't think I will ever drive that. But it's worth 122 grand. I think we'll hold on to that. Greaser. It's pretty awesome. Night race. Race at night. Okay. And a badge. Kind of a little upset. Wish I would have gotten more, but I didn't want to equip that. Oops, wrong button. So I think we'll open up one more here. We're gonna open up the super rare items, car, driver gear, mount guaranteed. But I want more cars. Chance for legendary items, five months guaranteed. So I think super rare, legendary driver's gear. Let's go for some legendary driver's gear. One more, why not? I just wasted all my money, but it's cool. We'll probably sell that Mercedes anyways, because I don't think I'm ever going to use it. I see some legendary stuff. Already own that. Own. Yes, I will take that. The 1975 BMW throwback vintage. I already owned it, so I believe we can... Oh, I received 30,000 credits because I owned it. Okay. That BMW, though. So excited. I think we're going to go sell that Mercedes, though, because I'm not a big fan of it. I know I should probably keep it, but I kind of want the money back. So that Camaro, definitely going to do a drift build on this car. So where are you, Mercedes Benz? There you are. Sell you. 122,000. So I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsports 7. As you know, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of you found in the description box below. If you like to see, don't forget to tap and comment and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I appreciate it. Until next time, guys, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out. I'm loving, I'm tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study in my vision and she ain't from the city And she ain't